there. The two very different portrayals, though, have emerged about the suspected shooter's behavior in the days and hours leading up to the tragedy at the school. What we heard from prosecutor Karen McDonald today differs greatly from what Oxford Superintendent Tim Throne said in a statement that we showed here on Local 4 News last night at 11. Karen Drew is here to break down what each of them said. Karen. Well, Kim and Devin, I know your parents and you've been talking to parents. I can tell you what they're saying to me. How did the school handle this? And they could have done a better job. I think a lot of people are saying there is some miscommunication there. Why, when Ethan Crumbly was brought to the school office that morning and he had written on his homework at 8.58, please help me, and had some very troubling threats, did the school not do any more? Now, the superintendent says he did his job. And, oh, Karen McDonald has a lot to say about that. First and foremost, your your job is to protect the well-being and safety of the students in that in that building. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald reacting to the fact school superintendent Tim Throne said this. No discipline was warranted. There are no discipline records at the high school. If they say that he had no discipline records, I, I don't dispute that. I, I don't know for certain, but I don't know. We're not talking about disciplining the shooter. We're talking about what was known or was there reason to believe or anything of concern um, regarding a violent act. Could school officials face charges of criminal negligence? The prosecutor says the investigation continues. You err on the safe side. If, if you're saying to a parent that we're so concerned that he needs counseling and we have two back-to-back -back, um, behaviors that indicate violence, sending him back to class, I mean, I just... Now, I think the parents were the imposition to know that he had access to a deadly weapon. I'm struggling with the statements of the superintendent. Struggling with the statements from the superintendent. I can tell you the nation is watching, watching how school leaders are treated, just watching how these parents, as we said, have just been charged and how this case continues to change and move hour by hour. We'll stay on top of it tonight here. Meantime, we are live outside of the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office. I'm Karen Drew, Local 4. Okay, Karen, thank you.